What's up, YouTube? This is Bait here, bringing you another Pokemon Black and White Wi-Fi battle. And this is a match that I had yesterday at my live stream. Thank you everyone so much who were there. You know, it was kind of early for some people, but then again, you know, time zone, so... It doesn't matter what time I stream on, you know, there's always somebody who's going to miss it. But, uh, thank you. I kind of streamed early, but still had like over 100 people there at the best time. So, thank you everyone so much. Also, had, a uh, Scott was there with me for a while. Then we, of course, had Wile and Nobs and Tony and Superblah. They were there with me on Skype. So, thank you guys and special thanks, of course, to everyone who was there and uh, battled me and uh, we had a lot of fun but uh, basically here uh, I present you the first match that I had there on my stream uh, standard OU match also the only OU match that I had because I did mostly UU after that also almost did little cup but anyways I uh, got a match here against Doron X that was his twitch TV account name and um, he has a pretty standard ish uh, sand team I got the team that I've been using quite a lot on PO lately or you know a while ago um, he actually has uh, three of the same guys that I have Landorus, uh, Latios and uh, Heatran but anyways we are both going to lead off with our Landorus's and uh, Landorus is pretty much going to be my MVP uh, that was the game plan when I went into the match because you know he has Tyranitar so I will get the Sand Force boost from him so uh, you know that was kind of the thing that I wanted to uh, keep alive uh, for this match. Uh, anyways, uh, we both U-turn. I don't know if it was a speed tie or not, but uh, he ends up getting the uh, switch advantage here as he U-turns last, and uh, that is going to give his Ferrothon a free chance to set up whatever he wants, and uh, he chooses to uh, go for spikes. I'm kind of thinking spikes lead seed, protect something. But anyways, I go into my Heatran on a balloon. And he goes into his own Heatran on a balloon. You know, it's not my Heatran on a balloon. Anyways, I'm gonna set up rocks and uh, then break his balloon with uh, HP Ice as he opts to do the same. Um, I would think this is a speed tie because we both have the hidden power, most likely Ice. But I end up possibly winning the speed tie two times in a row unless he had, you know, something else. I, I don't know. Most likely was a speed tie, but don't mess with my heatran on a balloon. And now I just totally overuse my own meme, my own wit. But anyways, at this point I will do what I always do and I digress. And in comes Landers. I don't wanna lose my heatran quite yet. Don't wanna risk it, so I go and go into my Vaporeon. He makes a good play again and just goes for the U-turn. Goes back into his Ferrothon, giving him the chance to, uh, you know, set up his hazards again I guess as I just go back into my heat jump but I, I don't know he goes for protect I uh, don't really know why he had really no reason to maybe a misclick who knows he definitely should have just set up hazards I don't know why he would protect against the Vaporeon anyways he protects once again and uh, then switches into Latios takes a hefty chunk to um, and the Fire Blast still does a hefty chunk, and here I was thinking kind of long, should I go into my Vaporeon, but I was thinking he might also trick, and Vaporeon is kind of more important to the team, because it, uh, you know, passes the wishes to everyone. So I thought that I would just stay in, but he makes the safe move, uh, goes for the Surf, most likely locks himself into that. But anyways, I'm gonna go into Landers, he's kind of low, so I was thinking, you know, U-turn should KO, but he doesn't even want to stay in for that, so he switches into Sparathon. So, at least I end up with the switch advantage, but now the annoying thing is that uh, since he has to protect, he's of course going to scout what move I'm going to lock myself into, and since this Ferrothon is really annoying, I'd rather just lock myself into super power over U-turn just to take him out. But uh, knowing that I'm locking into super power, he uh, goes into his lander, is not too big of a deal, because super power is going to do a hefty chunk to the lander is. So it's definitely in a revenge killable range for basically anything on my team now. But uh, now I'm gonna go into my Vaporeon on his uh, Earthquake. He finally decides to go for it. And I think I just go for the safe protect here because, uh, you know, it's kind of iffy. Can I live the hit? So I decided to just to, you know, screw it. Let's go for it. 
and uh, be safe. Really should have gone for the wish because he makes a good play again. Uh, goes into his uh, Tyranny's heart, and um, I think I just yeah I just stay in. I was kind of hoping to also to outspeed because I do run some speed EVs uh, on this Vaporeon, but that is not the case. He kills me off with Crunch, but uh, this gives me a chance to go into my uh, Scizor and just go for the U-turn this time. And uh, he actually goes into his uh, Landorus as a death fodder now. And I think I just U-turn into my own Landorus because it's my Scarfer. So, uh, you know, if he goes into something like this thing, Ferrathon, you know, I can you know, go from there, and uh, actually, I was kind of thinking, should I just U-turn, or, uh, but, uh, since he did, uh, give, since he did give me the sand, I figured I could go for, uh, sand force boosted EQ and see how much it does, and it actually does a really hefty chunk, so I'm just gonna stay in here, but, uh, he goes into his, um, Latios this turn, and I think I go into my, um, yeah, I go into la Lantern, I, oh, like there, in so many occasions, I tend to, uh, you know, say Lantern over Landers, and I keep mi mixing up their names. Anyways, I go into my Lanternus, and um, he goes for Surf, uh, so I take it really well, and uh, I think I just go for the Vault Switch here. Yup. Uh, so, keeping my offensive moment going on here, and he goes back into his uh, Ferrathorn. So uh, I think I, yeah, I go into my. Scizor, I think at this point I just go for the U-turn because I don't want to be locked into a wrong move and from this range I was really thinking that a choice bandit U-turn should kill him because you know it's stab and uh, He's already really low on health, so I go for the U-turn But he lives with the start with a tiny smidgen of health. Oh my Arceus, so I'm gonna be forced to switch out and he's gonna go for the lead seed on my Latios, and now I'm pretty sure that he's just gonna go for the um, protect here on this following turn. So uh, I'm gonna just switch out directly. Not gonna bother to uh, go for any move because I'm lead seated. So I don't wanna want him to get any extra recovery because this thing is really getting annoying. So I go into my uh, lander is here, and I'm just gonna lock myself in into Earthquake because I figure if he doesn't protect, you know, I can take him out from this range. But since he now knows that I'm locked into EQ, I'm pretty sure he's gonna go back into his Latio, so I'm actually gonna pull a double switch and go into my Lantern. Kind of a risky move because I'm not really sure if I can take a hit from him at this range, but the thing is, uh, well, I guess I could have always just, you know, sack my Lantern. But I'm kind of hoping to take one hit, and uh, he goes for the Draco Meteor. I'm not really sure if this is Specs or not. Probably not, because uh, my Lantern just barely lives with 21 HP. He lives the Draco Meteor, and I'm able to go for the Wall Switch, take him out, and now I can possibly still, you know, use Lantern as a useful death fodder later on. But I'm gonna send out my Scarfer, my Lander is here again. He goes into his Haxorus. Lenderis, Haxorus, Rus, Rus, Rus. So much Rush. But anyways, I'm gonna lock myself with the Sand Force Boost and EQ does not KO and he's gonna go for the Outrage, but I survive again. Just barely, but I do. Which is amazing. So I'm pretty sure this is a Jolly Nature Haxorus, uh, which uh, kinda ends up biting him in the ass because he kinda lacks the power to KO me. But works in my favor, of course, and. Um, he goes into his Ferrothorn, he's gonna protect one more time, but I'm still pretty sure and confident that I can take him out. I do end up getting a crit on this cursed Ferrothorn, but uh, judging by how much it did earlier, I guess if I would have got like absolute min, then maybe, just maybe he could have lived the hit. But anyways, none of my concerns, 500 pokes to take it, crit didn't matter, and last guy will be the T-Tar, take him out with the EQ, and that will be the game so thank you for watching so much and uh, thank you again for everyone uh, who was at the live stream I'll have to think if I'm going to do more um, live streams in the future they just tend to take a lot of time but uh this one was a lot of fun so thank you so much everyone for coming also um, since I had my webcam all set up uh, earlier today I actually did a you know, just a standard black and white uh, live narration with my crappy webcam. 
And I think it was like something like uh, 40 minutes long again. This is why I usually do the live narrations of PO because Wi-Fi battles tends to take so long. But uh, now I figured since I had everything set up, you know, I did one live narration and that will be up tomorrow, it should be. So uh, stay tuned for that if you are interested. Uh, haven't done a, you know, standard Pokemon black and white live narration in a while. But anyways, that will be all for today. So thank you for watching so much. And um, I got more matches now that I did the live stream. Also, I've been kind of... A few times I've tried the uh, Smogun Battle Finder. That seems to be pretty interesting too and pretty convenient for finding battles. But anyways, I have rambled far too much for today. So uh, this will be all for today. Thank you for watching so much again. And until next time, this is the Flame Spade. Signing out. Peace.